hundred percent, hundred percent. All right, all right, my dude. Right, I appreciate man. it. We'll be uh, we'll Sounds be in touch. Good. Yeah. Yeah, give me a reach out tomorrow. Uh, I'm excited to talk to Alex, man. Thank you for the invite. Hell yeah. How about that? Take care. How are you doing, Eve? I'm good. I'm good. How are you, Nino? Um, I have rode the biggest roller coaster of my life. Mm-hmm. Um, Time's off. Well, you know what? I might as well give you every detail. You, you need to update me on what's going on because I've been gone and <laughs> let me let me tell you what happened. Like the first I've been I've been running I, I was running sanitation like the, like hard before I left and I was I was I was putting a price out there what I would want materials to be at, right? Because nobody had a need for materials at that at that time. And I said I said that I would I would I didn't have money, but I would fairly pay people two dollars, right? I fairly would pay two dollars because I think it's a fair price for people. And at the end of the day, it wasn't about money or anything like that. I just want to build relationships with people. And coming back, I've already seen that I built those relationships successfully with people. And I can't believe that that is the market price right now because I left and I got asked by people, why do I want to set the price at that? And mm -hmm. everything just kind of worked out that it is, it is like that. What was and, the um, price you were trying to set? It was two. Oh, what was it before that? I, I only know of there, there wasn't a price. There wasn't a oh. price. Because I, I was the only one who was you know, running Sani at that point. So Lang approached me and he was like, why, why am I doing this? Why am I setting a price when the price isn't known yet? And I was like, nobody else is doing it. And yeah. I, I thought this would be a fair price. And then I kept, I come back and the price is at two and I'm very happy about that. So I have no idea what's going on. I look, I was around before storm and I just see the prices skyrocketing and now it's back to two again after storm. Mm. So I need to know, I need to know sure. what the materials are being used for, how they're being used for, and what do you have in mind for, you know, things moving forward? Cause I, I'm going to stick to sanitation. I love it. That trash bag lying there is irking me so much. And yeah, I'm, I'm going full force into materials. Okay. So, um, here is um i'll give you the lowdown all right so all right so i did tow for a minute until i nearly broke down and mm -hmm. uh this is before like the manufacturers came in and kind of gave a little bit more life to our car parts so with every tow i did um, with every tow I did, uh, it'd be thousands of dollars worth of, uh, you know, fixes. And I think at the time, like, shit, I don't even remember, like, uh, how much Rusty was selling the pots over at Mosley's, but like, it, it was getting really expensive and my vehicle was breaking down to like 71% being at the, like the top end of the life of the, the truck. Mm -hmm. So now I couldn't even really tow anymore because... The moment there was even just a, like a little bit more damage, I, my pots are bad. So I'm only going at 50 miles an hour. Da, 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 da. Right now. Um, I uh, then became a mechanic very quickly, became a master mechanic down at Mosley's. And um, it was good at first. Like um, I liked the people there, but the problem was like with uh, some of these like jobs that rusty and mosley's kick off like driving cut these local vehicles back and forth back and forth back and forth and just some of the people there just didn't sit well with me because uh, you, you'd see them like just scamming the fuck out of each other you know and um there's a point in time where like a little scam here and there is like funny right it gets your adrenaline pumping but i mean it was doing enough that it was just screwing everybody over and we're all down bad 
Um, and uh, I got back to towing, and I started this uh, roadside assistance gig. A lot of others try to do it now, but, you know, it's not like it's a unique idea, but, you know, I was out there helping customers out, making sure they're good, giving them a good experience with their tow. And if they needed to, like I looked at their, under their, their bonnet and they needed like a mm -hmm. repair, I bring them to the closest shop and uh, fix them up at a very fair rate. Um, and so I started to build up my customer base to the point where I had more calls than I could handle. And keep in mind, I'm just advertising, you know, roadside repairs. But now I'm getting like loyal customers because of the way that I'm treating them. And uh, I'm making money while well, they know they're not getting scammed. It's a consistent, fair price for everybody. Now, because of that increasing customer base and due to some of the horror stories, Eve, I'll tell you, I had people come to me like, um, you know, Gigi, the redhead? Mm -hmm. Yeah. She came to me in her group six truck and she's like, Nino, can you do a repair for me? And I looked at it. And she was one of the, 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 the things that pushed me over is she goes, she did a, like a $3,500 repair. It was either 2,500 or 3,500, but I'm pretty sure it was 3,500 earlier that day, $3,500. I look under a truck and she only needed like a $1,200 repair. Jesus. Like then, but the amount of damage that had gotten done to the truck, there is no way in hell that even if she blew up her truck that day, drove it around for like a ton, that it would have gotten as damaged as it was. So like she got price gouged by like two, three, uh, two, two thousand bucks. And so mm -hmm. I'm like, you know what? Holy shit. With the amount of horses, I'm like, fuck that. I'm, uh, I'm going to expand a little. And, um, I had the vision about a week ago. Um, Thursday. I came to the conclusion that this was the best spot up there in uh, my tow and roadside assistance operate my tow operators okay. um, down inside there all like uh, non-commercial vehicles large commercial there medium commercial there car park in there and um, people started approaching me I'm not advertising this place but people came they said, Nino, I want to work for you. I heard you're starting a thing. A buddy told me I want to be a mechanic here. I want to do tow here. And uh, all of them had very similar experiences, not wanting to work at the Walmart. Um, Saturday morning arrives. Keep in mind right now, prices are oh, worth $35. $41 after tax per part. Okay. Saturday rolls around. At this point, Mosley's and some of their like managers there have a full supply line. Materials coming in, they manufacture in a house, all that kind of jazz. Um, you need like 10 people all working on the same bench in the house at the same time to pump out the pots. Keep in mind that even though I'm buying at 41 and I can sell it like let's say 65 to make a profit, right? for the mm -hmm. repair and even though like they've got better profit margins i'm like okay i can take my time over the weekend slowly open up right they're gonna be making a little bit more but it's okay we'll like eventually get there you know for the house etc et saturday happens eve rusty started selling at 144 dollars a pot Oof. okay rib bozo every independent shop that didn't have a supply line i I didn't, I, I sat there running more numbers through my head, trying to figure out what the fuck to happen. Cause now it's like, I got to buy a house, which is at minimum like $200,000 and then the bench. And then I need people to go in there and like work on it. And, and not to mention while you're going in with thousands of dollars, you're walking out with thousands of dollars. Someone doesn't like your shit or like you're in the wrong neighborhood or like, you know, someone fucking scrapping shit sees you, they're going to hold you up and, and, and it's just a headache. I'm like, fuck. 
a lot of these guys cap over there uh walker amazing mechanic um some of uh the tow guys were just like you know running scenarios and i'm like that's it we need a house i'm gonna get loans i'm gonna get uh investments mm -hmm. sunday in a span of 24 hours guess how much money i rounded up houses go for what 130 160 cheap cheap ones mm -hmm. how much would you guess i got in a 24-hour period of private investors uh i don't know i feel like people who are doing who are doing senior bonds who are doing crime have that money so i i think how, um, how much ever you want you have that you know I got two hundred and ninety thousand uh, dollars. Twenty four. Two ninety. Yep. Okay. Okay. Damn, you know. Okay. People believe in the vision. They want the mom and pop shop, and uh, people have seen the service we've done. People have seen the vision, and they know that I want to make not just a mechanic shop, but like a little community bustle in here. You know, I want people to like, you know, people want to run their fucking hot dog stand across the way. Right. Mm -hmm. Let's do it. Mm -hmm. Eventually, once we're making money, I want like dispatch. Right. Like call in. You call the, the like our, like, you know, you call the shop, you know, dispatch calls over radio. Hey, we got a vehicle broken down here. Who's available? Boop, boop. Someone goes and helps them out. They need to be brought down here. We take care of them. You know, you see where I'm going with this? Like that's I that's do. what I want. I like it. I like it. It's organized, and I like it. I then went down in the south side once I had the money, looking at uh, the houses. It's a shit show, Eve. Um, it's a shit show because fucking um, there's like sewers you can go into. People are chopping cars, and they have to go down there to sell them. And uh, every, there's gangs left and right. I realize that my mechanics can't be going in a house to manufacture shit. When even if I won't get G checked, any one of these mechanics, they like some of them, they can probably hold their own, right? Some of these guys, like they, uh, they, you know, it, it's just a powder keg waiting to explode, right? Wrong mm -hmm. place, wrong mm -hmm. time. Someone misunderstands someone. And now it's a fucking shit show instead of a business being run. So, uh, I, uh, realized two things. I need to move to Polito. Polito or Mirror Park? I think Mirror Park is gonna be... I think, Mir uh... Mirror Park isn't bad. But there's reasons I kind of like Polito significantly more. Um... I like the lumber unit up there. It's quiet. Mm -hmm. Hey, OTT. Hey, Nino. Um, listen, are you good to take 91 parts like ASAP? Because uh, we need the space. Yes. Uh, to make more. Yes. Can I meet you at your shop in about five minutes? Uh, yes. Okay. We're, we're working on it right now. We'll be there okay. soon. All right. Okay, bye. See you soon. I have uh, pots coming in. Um, So... But the price up there is like three hundred thousand. Mm -hmm. And yeah, but then, I knew it was a know. necessity. Yeah, but I think the most the most cheapest house is two sixty, two ninety. Yep. Um, but then the supply problem happened. There's not enough materials being generated. And mm -hmm. prices are approaching three dollars. Um, you can now simultaneously make parts in parallel as long as they're different. But the thing is, it doesn't make sense to invest in a house right now. What I need is people getting resources, people making the pots so that we can run in business. And um, I would love to work with you on this, Eve. Um, and I think it would be a very valuable asset especially mm -hmm. with how familiar you are with 
one side of this entire game. Yeah, I um, I need to find out what's happening with why why prices are Delba, changing think of the before storm months. and changing back after storm, and I'm thinking it's because of the presence of the union actually being around. But I need to see where I fall in place with that because I don't I don't know if. I don't know if there's going to be a partnership between me and Lang because of our first meeting we had when I got back to the city. Mm. Um, so I don't know how that will work because I also don't know how... how I, I don't want to be in a union per se. There's a lot of politics and drama that can come from that. And I don't, I don't necessarily know how that's going to work out. So yeah. I have to see, but I do want to... I do know that I have already, I already have people who are telling me I've, I've I haven't sold a single material from all the time I've been doing Sani since you've been gone, Eve. All of it is yours. I appreciate that. Um, so I'm I, me alone. I'm sitting on eight thousand materials. What the fuck? I have people who are probably sitting on half of that to more that have just been waiting for me to get back to see what I can do with that. And at the end of the day, I don't care about the money. I care about the relationships and opportunity that I can make for myself and other people. That's uh, precisely what I'm looking to do as well. Everyone needs to eat at the table. Mm -hmm. It's about the long-term things, not the short-term things. That's why I don't like that people are just, you know, raising the price before Storm just to drop it again after Storm. I don't like that. I believe what's happening, Eve, is I'm awake uh, five hours before a storm, and then mm -hmm. sometimes to the end of this one, at least lately, there's mm -hmm. two different, I'd say, this is rough estimates, right? I don't mm -hmm. go to sanitation. I only know who the buyers are. The people that are selling before storm, half of them are different from the ones selling after storm so mm -hmm. i think there's the union i think runs pretty strong in this shift but the one prior to this it's like a completely different story um so uh mm -hmm. it's uh so uh yeah you gotta i i know there's a lot happening on the you know sanitation math side of things so uh, definitely take your time on all that. Um, and uh, yeah, all I know is I'd like you to be a part of this. However, that ends up and like you craft your, your you know, your, right 